Alrighty, Nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89 Today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for The Promised Neverland Chapter 142. So last chapter we got into a flashback of how The Promise uh, was forged in the first place. And of course, my boy Lewis was involved. And this is great because something that really bugged me um, uh, when Lewis died a long ass time ago... Uh, now, uh, like at the end of the Goldie uh, Ponds arc was, we didn't get any backstory for Lewis. We really didn't. And this really is making up for it. At least for me it is. I can't wait to see how this shit is going to go down. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. An urgent report of a disaster. Reporting in, Archduke Lewis has appeared in the Southwest Forest. The Rotary Force's stronghold has been annihilated. General Rotary is also most likely. I'm going to search for him. I'll go too. All right. Um, if he's still alive, we may not have much time. Besides, if their entire force did, uh, did end up being wiped out, if we don't recover the corpses, they'll eat them. Wait. Julius. Um... We're so glad. Are, are you injured? I'm sorry for worrying you all, but more importantly, I have something I'd like you to hear right away. Again, this is another, I just realized, fucking Julius, it's making me think of uh, um, Julius from Black Clover. But anyway, all gathered round for the last dis round of um, discussion before, and this chapter is titled uh, The Promise from 1000 Years Ago, Part 2. You want us to reconsider that proposal? That one about offering up a part of the humans in order to forge peace with them? However, I thought we decided against that before. But if we present them once, um, once that will be the end of it. We have this method, which by doing so just once, we can se um, severe interactions with them for eternity. Julius, this is certainly preferable to losing thousands or tens, uh, ten thousand soldiers and people onwards. I I've had enough of sacrificing. In one night, in just one night, we were all wiped out. If we just offer up a small amount, all the sacrifice will end right then and there. But Julius, if we if we can't do this, the mindless bloodshed will never end. We have to finish this for the sake of mankind. Not soon, not someday, but right here, right now. All of us. It certainly is a painful choice to make, but this is a constructive pro uh, compromise. It is a price we must pay. I beg of you, everyone, please accept this plan. But what about all the suffering that will happen to those we offer up? Will their offspring, generation after generation, follow after them? All for the sake of our peace? The pain and suffering they have to shoulder will just continue to swell with this one singular decision. Is that not the case? I've lost many soldiers too. My father and brother were eaten and the others lost their families as well. Countless numbers of my comrades have been eaten by them. But even so, you and all of us here, haven't we been fighting all this time for the future that we want? Even through all of the losses and uh, all they robbed us of, haven't we come this far together because we haven't given up? Stop it! you're wrong those pretty words and those illusions i'm fed up with it all oh my god sorry i read this wrong let me read this again those pretty words and illu those illusions i'm fed up with all of it what's so wrong with casting um away with some strangers for the sake of my comrades i'm doing the right thing here i'm then why do you look like you're in so much pain julius Ooh. I know what, I know that you don't want to cast them away either. You think about your nation and your troops more than anyone else. You're straightforward and kind, and for that reason you feel much more responsible for others and push on ahead all by yourself. But weren't you the one who wanted it more than anyone else? Peace for all mankind, victory without victory without compromise? Um, I'm sorry that you've had to suffer alone, but for your sake too, I just we can't we just can't accept that proposal. What you need right now is rest. You must be exhausted. Rest up a little. You're wrong. You're wrong. This is the very best peace we can achieve. I want to reach an understanding with all of you. Otherwise, if I can just get you to consent to this. Dude, they are not going to consent to this. They're, 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 your, your comrades are holding firm, my dude. I see. No matter what I do, you won't change. Um, um, no matter what I do, you won't change your minds. It's a shame, honestly. What a shame. We what? An enemy attack. <gasps> Julius, you, you betrayed us. The motherfucker betrayed them. I said it like I titled my video, the motherfucker traitor. The motherfucker traitor. I was right. I was right. Dude, this is some tra What a traitor. I have already reached an agreement with their king. Not bad at all. If we seize control of our food source, we can, gov um, can command and govern our subjects more effectively. We will agree to your peace. Please forgive me. There was no other way. You've become obstacles towards peace. Therefore, as much as it, it pains me to do this... What? 
Dude, it's your humanity is supposed to cattle. Dude, this is fuck up. What happened to the slaves and the villains? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is messed up. Now go on and become a foundation for peace. It's okay. This was the sole correct path. Somebody has to end up being the victim. Somebody has to be the one to finish this. It's over now. The human world will be saved. I saved it. You want the world to be divided in two? Okay, I will grant your wish. However, I will request a reward as well. It's the price for granting your wish. No matter what he wants, uh, no matter what he wants, do not refuse. I've decided. First, Everk from you. I would like the finest meat you will ever grow. You can make them right. Um, humans at farms? I want to eat better meat than you or your king ever would. I understand. Now the next up is Julius for you. Once this is done, everything will be over. I can go home, whatever it takes, even if I must give him my life here. From now on, you will be the gatekeeper. Huh? You, um... Your role will be that of a, a mediator. You are to uh, persevere peace between the two worlds. The promise that you um, you and the king made. You are not to break each other's cu uh, customs so that we may not hunt each other. Let us separate the world. If the human side doesn't play a part, you wouldn't be able to rest assured, right? So your clan who are humans will play that role forever. Yes, you and your offspring, uh, generation after generation, will be stuck in the, that vortex of fate. You can't escape from the friends that you tossed away, nor from your fate. You too will become a foundation for peace. Sure, Emma. Oh my god, this is just wow. But let me, I want to keep going here. Sure, Emma. What is your wish? However, I will request a reward as well. A reward? Mr. Minerva's pen talked about that. But with such simple-mindedness, he really does seem like a kid. An existence of a higher dimension that has trans transcended time and space. Who at one time divided the human and demon worlds? What is he thinking of? What does he want? I can't read him at all. Almost like some fickle god. The reward? Hmm. It would have to be something important. Their ambition, their desire, what they long for. What I... Um, would want is something that is um, important to the other party. Will you make a wish despite that? What do you wish for? Look here. Three rules. One, promises made with cannot be overwritten. Two, promises made with cannot be broken. Three, you absolutely must not refuse him his reward. In the promise from 1,000 years ago, the world was divided based on that. Our wish will be quite simple. Just two things. My wish is... I want all cow ch children to cross over to the human world, and after that for it to be completely impossible to pass between the two worlds. <gasps> I will grant that wish, but at what price? Ooh, there's going to be a price. I'm really curious what the price is going to be. It, it would be interesting if the price was that um, he would, uh, that he that would, um, uh, like, have Emma sacrifice her family. I, I don't know. Like, it, it's going to be high stakes. We saw what happened. Or, you know what? I think Emma could be the mediator on this. I think Emma could have um, uh, Rodri's role. I really do. I'm very curious what you guys think of that. What do you guys think the price is going to be? Um, and what do you guys think of what Emma Emma's request is? And what do you guys think about the whole Rodri situation? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more um, Promise Neverland content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on um, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.